In this lesson, we're going to see how to use the VLOOKUP function. This is really convenient when you have two data sets that have a common uh, variable between them. So in this case, you'll notice that on the left, I have months of the year, uh, and next to is sales. And you will notice I've sorted this data in from the lowest sales to the highest sales. And the months are not in, in any sequential order. On the right, you have months of the year with the price. And what I like to now do is I would like to somehow, for the month of January over here, I know the sales is 7.19, and I would now like to actually have the price in January over here. So somehow you have to go to the second data set, pull out January, look at the price, which is 77.93, and bring it back over here. So the way you do this is you use the VLOOKUP function. Before you can use the VLOOKUP function, you have to decide what the common variable is going to be. So in this case, the common variable is month. So we're going to use OST Excel to look at each month in this left data set, and then look at the month on that data set, and pull out whichever variable that you want. To use this function, the second data set has to be in alphabetical order. So right now it's not in alphabetical order. June, Jan is not alphabetical. So the first column has to be in alphabetical order, so we know how to do this already. Highlight this thing, go to sort, and I want to go from month, and I do not want Z to A, I actually want A to Z. Having done this, we now put price over here, and now we're ready to start. Typed the word VLOOKUP. First thing is, what's the look of value? What am I looking for here? And then what am I looking for at that data set? So I'm looking for months. So click on January. So it tells you, look up January in the left, and then look up January on the right. It's asking you second is table array. Which table am I looking at? Well, you have to highlight this entire table over here. Um, one thing you have to watch out for is that it'll, if I press enter eventually, it'll give me the right value. And if I use this formula down the next row, A2 will, I2, J13 will change to I3, J14. So to always make sure that you use the data set on the, on the right and nothing else, you press F4. This locks the data set. It says always look in the data set. Column index is asking you, fine, remember the first so here we're looking for month. The first column always has to be the same variable that's that you're looking for, which is month. It's asking you, once I find January, which number do you want me to pull out? So I look at January. I find January over here. And in this case, what I want is price, which is the second column in this table. So I press the, put the number two. And then I have the option. True gives you approximate match, looks at the nearest match, false gives exact match. We want false in this case. When I hit enter, I notice I get for the month of Jan, sales was 7.19. What was the price? It looks for the data set on the right, finds January, second column of the data set is 77.93, and puts it back here. And if I now copy this formula down, I then get the price for all months. Let's check. February. What's the price right now? It's 11.36 according to this data set. Go over here, look for February, and of course the price is 11.36509.